Hello, hello! Welcome back to Red Ted Art. This is the Reckless Journal where you tell me what I should be doing next. Be sure to watch until the end of the video and then vote for the page you would like to see me work on in the next video. Okay guys, now each week, as you know, I choose a page and you choose a page. The page you have chosen is coming. <laughs> but the one I've chosen is the one to draw with your left. Actually, as it turns out, quite a few wanted this page too, so that's quite handy. Now, I love this technique that I'm gonna show you, and it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed, the challenge is the same, and it's something I saw on the Artful Parent by my friend Jean a couple of years ago, and I haven't actually done anything with it, and it's so clever. You basically take a pen in each hand, uh, one in your left and one in your right. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter, but it's really, really clever and it's so, so fun. And basically, you take your pen and you start to simply draw in mirror. This is so cool. And like I said, my friend Jean first showed me this technique many, many years ago. Actually, it helps if your pens both work equally well. I might have to change pens actually, it's easier if the pens work. I should have actually actually put that in my right hand. Let's swap them around. The pens need to work is basically it. And then you basically draw whatever you're drawing as a mirror at the same time. So I'm gonna do a butterfly. And you concentrate on your stronger hand. So I'm stronger on my right. So I'm gonna concentrate on what I'm doing with my right hand. Oops, I'm not paying attention. And then you basically simply mirror your activities. Okay. Normally you do this on a plain piece of paper and it's much easier, but because my book is uh, bendy, it's a little bit trickier. So now I'm gonna put the butterfly's details in. I should really listen to my own advice and just concentrate on my right hand. Actually, Pip Squeaks here. Could you hold this book flat for me? Because that would make it a bit easier. Thank you. Here we go. So that's my draw with your left hand page. Uh, you know, you can add lots of details like. Uh, some clouds, maybe some a little cloud here, and then maybe in the distance you can have some little sunflowers, birds. sunflowers, or just flowers. Uh, what do you reckon? Because sunflowers are tall. Yeah, to have a sunflower maybe peeping in the side of the page. Yeah. The farther your hands get away from each other, the harder it is. So if you've got your hands closer together, it is actually easier to do this double drawing technique. Is that an okay sunflower? Yeah. Good, so that's our left and well, left-handed drawing. So I hope you like that. I think it's really fun, a really good, you know, great way of drawing with both your hands. Um, and if you do it on plain paper, it's even easier. So I thought this was really cool. Um, I might get some watercolors and just add a little bit of detail afterwards, but I'll have a think about that.
right-handed drawing at the same time so it's great for whether you're left or right-handed it's the same challenge and it's really fun as mentioned my friend Jean from the Artful Parent first did this a couple of years ago I'll link to her down below she's got a really fantastic art blog that you might want to look out for and if you do this on plain paper it's really great fun obviously in your book it's great too but yes this is it now let's take a look and see what you guys challenged me last week to do next so come on this was really tricky so you guys asked for public place <laughs> here we go this is venturing out to the local tram stop and let's see if i'm brave enough to ask people to draw in the book wish me luck No, I won. You won. No, I won more. You won. I won. So neither Red Ted nor I wanted to ask random commuters to draw in my book, at which point I had a brainwave. I thought, let's make it a theme, make it a fruit, and take the book into my son's school playground because a school is a public place is it not so we had lots of the kids at school join in all ages from four year olds up to 12 year olds we had a couple of adults including my husband and um, someone's nanny join in and we had lots of different fruit lots of fun brilliant thank you to the kids in my children's school So here we are guys, the public place almost finished. Now I did take it out to the kids cricket and got a couple of extra drawings in and also I added a couple of my own which I thought was okay as well, why not? Now to kind of bring it all together and kind of make this into a real sort of like project, I thought I'm now gonna get some oil pastels and color them in. Now you can use pencils, crayons, anything you've got really. Um, but I just thought I never use my oil pastels, why not give them a go? So I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna speed up the video and hopefully it's going to really make the different fruits pop out and bring the page together so let's get on with that <laughs> What do you think? Isn't that cute? And now one last thing because I can't, just can't leave things alone. I'm not gonna do this to all of them, but look what I'm gonna do to some of them. I'm gonna create some little faces. I actually thought we could do some little kawaii faces. It kind of reminded me of this one. And then I thought, actually, why don't we just have a play with some googly eyes and just glue on some googly eyes and make it really fun. What do you think? Isn't that cute? So I'm going to do a few of those and then I think our public places page is finished. place done by the school playground as well as the cricket grounds is finished now if you don't have googly eyes i totally understand that um just use a, a pen and draw some kawaii faces on it we're quite good at kawaii here at redhead art so why don't you do some more of those so now as to next week's challenge it's half term here next week so it might take me two weeks for next week's challenge to go up but i'm not sure yet we'll just see how it goes so if it's not there next week uh do come back the week after so next week's challenge let's see what would you like next let's have a look would you like 
right backwards. Remember, you have to vote. There's some I. There's an I poll up here you can vote with and leave a comment. You can have fill this page with circles. You can have place a sticky things here. Oh dear, that looks tricky. Or how about tear strips and rip it up. So those are your choices. Remember, uh, leave a comment down below. Fill out the I cards. Above all, join in, do this with me. You guys join in, use a plain uh, journal at home and you can join in too. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Anyway, see you again soon. Take care, bye.